I found a new AI tool specially trained on the most viral YouTube thumbnails, who can generate amazing thumbnails in seconds. If you ask any top YouTuber, what's the most important part of your video to get views? They will all answer, Thumbnail, 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 right? Thumbnail. And if you ask them, why are you all wearing suits and holding an iPad in your hand? They will probably say, some weird YouTuber with terrible Photoshop skills thought it would be funny, and for some reason a lot of stock images of businessmen have an iPad in their hand. But the point I'm trying to make is that you can make the best video to ever exist. But if you have a bad thumbnail nobody would even click on your video and watch it. However, creating highly clickable thumbnails is difficult. You need to know how to use complex programs like Photoshop. And know the psychology behind why people click on a video. It's no surprise great thumbnail artists cost $100 per hour. Jesus Christ! But in this video, I'm going to show you a new AI tool who can generate amazing thumbnails in seconds. The program I'm talking about is called Pixels. And just to show you that this actually works, this video, with 3.6 million views, uses a thumbnail that is generated with this tool. This video with 600,000 views uses a thumbnail generated with this tool. And this video with 160,000 views as well. Oh, and by the way, Whoa. Whoa! So yes, this actually works. The tool works the same as Midjourney. You will have to get access to their Discord. I put a link down below. This will send you to the right place. Once you're in their Discord, you can go to free trial to test out the tool for free. However, if you are on a paid plan, you want to go to the Pixels bot on the right side of the screen. Right click with your mouse and select message. This will open a private chat where you can generate your thumbnails. And here, you can simply start by describing what kind of thumbnail you want. Let's for instance recreate a thumbnail concept a lot of creators use. The day 1 to day 30 style thumbnails. These always work extremely well. Here is how you want to set up your prompts. You want to start by mentioning the title of the video. This will give the AI more context about your video, which helps to match the thumbnail to your video. Then you want to describe specific details or elements. In this case, a lot of creators show growth between day 1, where someone hasn't achieved a lot and day 30 where they often have made a lot of money or achieved other success. So on the left side, I want to have cobwebs and cardboard boxes, symbolizing a humble beginning. And this AI is also able to incorporate text. However, only if it isn't too long. And you will have to give it a couple of tries before it gets it right. In this case, I only want two basic signs, one showing day one and one showing day 30. And on the right side, I want to have a pile of dollar bills and a green rising graph indicating financial success. And this is already extremely impressive. However, the AI has also tried to incorporate the video title in the thumbnail. And like I said, if it's too much text, it's not going to be able to spell everything correctly. What you now can do is just instruct the AI what you want to change. You don't have to rewrite the whole prompt. So I'm just going to ask it to remove the title of the video and only include the text, day 1 and day 30. And as you can see the AI has removed the title. However, I think the right side can be a bit brighter, showing the financial success better. This will definitely grab more attention, and therefore get more views. It also removed the paper cut style split. So I'm going to instruct it to include this again. This is definitely more what I'm looking for. If you are close to what you want, you want to press redo three times. This will give you three variations of the thumbnail, and it will almost always has one in it which is exactly what you are looking for. Yep, that's actually perfect. And you need to understand that this is a very difficult thumbnail. There are so many details the AI need to include. The cobwebs, cardboard boxes, a YouTube logo, money, a bright green graph, text. And it executed it absolutely perfect. You definitely need to be a very skilled editor to create this yourself. If you want to create a new thumbnail you will need to add, slash new. This will reset the chat with the AI. If you want to have more text in the thumbnail, then you want to write a similar prompt with don't include text at the end, because you will need to add this manually. 
and I would always recommend you do it this way since the text is really important in a thumbnail and you want to have more control over it. Let's say I want to create a thumbnail for a video about the worst racing accident in history. Then you would want to put something on the thumbnail like, worst crash in history. This will immediately grab the attention of the viewer, and together with an image of a big crash should make people really excited about the video. So this should be perfect. I always use Canva to edit the rest of my thumbnails. Simply upload the image you just created in pixels. Scale it so it covers the entire screen. And here is a trick I always use, and which I highly recommend you incorporate as well. You need to keep in mind that a good thumbnail is a simple thumbnail. You should often have only a maximum of three elements in your thumbnail, which require the attention of the viewer. In this case, we have a car, fire, and a lot of small details around it, like these tires and humans flying through the air. These small elements only distract the viewers from the main message, the big crash, and therefore will decrease the amount of time someone clicks on your video. When you select the image and go to edit photo, you can use the magic erase tool. With this tool, you can simply draw over a part of the image and Canvas AI is going to magically erase it from the image. Wow. In this case, I would recommend you erase every small detail except maybe one or two tires. And as you can see, this looks much more visually pleasing and will definitely get more clicks. You do need to have a Canva Pro account if you want to use the AI functionalities. However, if you use the link in the description of this video, you can get your first month of Canva Pro for free so you can test it out. Now for the final step, you want to add text. If possible, I would recommend you place the text at the top of the thumbnail. If not, then go for the left side. When you are working with text, you really want to focus on creating contrast between the text and the background. This will make the text stand out more and again, get you more clicks. Since the background is a bit dark here, I'm going to make the text white. However, there are two things wrong with this thumbnail as is. First of all, the main subject of the thumbnail isn't in the center of the screen. It's too close to the text. What you can do is to drag the image downwards. Then you want to again go to edit photo. Now select Magic Expand, and then Whole Image. Canva's AI has been going to generate an extra part to fill in the missing piece. Secondly, the visibility of the text is very poor at some places in the thumbnail. You can change the font and size to make it stand out a bit more. But what I always do is to increase the contrast of the background with the text. When you go to Elements, you can search for a black gradient effect. Place this effect behind the text and it will stand out much more grabbing even more attention. And you are done. This is definitely an amazing thumbnail. For the people that are really serious about this method, I've actually made a free course video where I dive a lot deeper into how I'm creating my thumbnails with this exact method. In this free course, I will also give you a PDF with over 100 prompts you can use in pixels for all kinds of different niches. The link to this course is in the video description. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. More content like this is coming your way. Thanks for watching and until next time.